Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now that you know how to size a system and uh, you know how many panels you would need, I got a quote from a company. I told them exactly what they needed, you know, what size of panel I had in my house, the size of K system that I had. It was a 5,000 K, okay? And they were using 260 panels. Uh, they were using the, the 260, they told me, you know? So it was 20 panels that I needed, you know? And their bid came in pretty, pretty close to 425 a watt, meaning they were charging me $4.25 per watt. You multiply these numbers, you're pretty close to 21,000. It's like 20, 20,000, eight hundred dollars some somewhere in there that's what they wanted for the system okay uh, and they were pushing the lease option and I was telling them I wanted to purchase you know to buy it outright but this is pretty much the going price you're right in there about four four twenty five and they'll go up as high as in my area five dollars a watt so just take five times five five thousand that's twenty five thousand and a lot of people are actually purchasing the, the system because they really don't know where else to go as far as getting a, a decent estimate, okay? But I want to give you just a little quick breakdown on numbers, hard numbers, where this is most of your costs, where it's going. You know, the 26 panels or the 20 panels times your panel cost without taxes, it's about two, $226. You multiply that number, you're at 4,520. Now you get the inverter in there, and we'll talk a little bit more about that, you know? There's a lot of good websites to show you how inverters work, what the reason for it and all that. We'll talk briefly about it, but you multiply 20 inverters because you need one per panel, depending on what type, which way you go, times the cost of the inverter, 132, you know? Uh, you get 2,640. Permit, they can only charge at the most about $500. You know, that might change because every year they're changing uh, uh, the procedures and the signatures and uh, stamps and all that stuff. Right now, building departments are charging about $500. The plans, the plans range from 200 to 300 to draw, plus the signature and engineering and all that. But we're going to put it at 800, a little on the higher side. But I can get it a little cheaper than that. You know, total cost of all this is 8,000. 460. That's where your cost would be in materials. The only thing you would need here now is your racking, you know, your wire, you know, and uh, some grounding and maybe some uh, conduit pipe to go to your main box, which is really not, if I had to throw that cost in there, I would probably cost it at maybe, I want to say at the high side, 2000 if I go out the high side, but I'm gonna to try to break that down for you also, because every house is gonna be a little bit different. So even at this cost, we're looking at 10,460, okay? That's how much it's gonna cost you roughly in materials. We haven't included the labor in there, but as you notice, you see these solar companies putting it up, they can put up the system in one day if they really want to. They take roughly about two days depending on a four-man crew, eight-man crew, because they really have to justify, you know, the time that it takes to put that up there. But if you look at from 10,000 to 20,000, that's a 100% markup, you know? That's where all that money's going to. And if you ask them why so much, they tell you it's the guarantee. And it's not really the guarantee because all panels are guaranteed for 25 years. All inverters are guaranteed for 25 years. And as a contractor, you're liable for 10 years in installing that system. So pretty much, you got 10 years locked in, and you got 25 years on this up here. So if anything were to happen, it's just a matter of me going back there, changing the panel or the inverter if they go wrong, which they have a really good, good, uh, um, product where it's almost like, I want to say about 2%, 1%, depending on what you get up here, that they really don't break down. That's the beauty of solar. Once you put it up and it's done properly, 
and uh, the system really does not go bad on you, but this is what I want you to see. You can almost count the panels up on top. If you notice, 20,000, 20 panels. I can almost count the panels on the house and say 15 panels, they probably paid 15,000 plus. 20 panels, 20,000 plus. 25 panels, probably 27,000 plus, you know? You have a lot of room to negotiate, okay? Uh, if I wanted to throw labor in there and I really paid them good, I'd probably throw another thousand in there and that's being very good, okay? I'm still looking at about $9,000 in profit. $9,000 in profit. Where does that go? In their pocket, okay? I tell customers, if you're not paying close to $3 a watt, you're way overpriced. Can they get it down that price? Yes, they can. And if they can't, tell them to talk to me. And believe me, I'll break down this number so you can really negotiate with them, you know? So I put up a system at $2.50 a watt, you know, and still made decent profit. So that way, you know, the only thing you really need now is really the racking and the jacks to put in there. Some, uh, some piping and wire, and you'll pretty much know. What we're going to do is we're going to actually have charts. So if you have 15 panels that you need, you'll have the cost and breakdown. If you need 22 panels, you'll have the cost and breakdown. So you'll have all those scenarios, and you'll even have what it really costs on, on every topic. So that way, when you do talk to the salespeople, if you ever do get a call, you know, don't be afraid of talking to them and tell them what it really goes for. And you know what? They'll change your story. The last thing you'll probably hear from them is what can we put your system at? If you tell them $3 a watt, you'll see how serious they are.